Yo, what's up guys? Trading bonuses, extra candy, a new Pokemon, and a global challenge. All that coming up in this week's episode of Tuna's Tips, Dragon's Unleashed event. So let's just get into it. Lunar New Year, Dragon's Unleashed begins Monday, February 5th at 10 a.m. and goes until February 11th at 8 p.m. local time. That gives us seven days to participate in this event. The Dragon's Unleashed event will also debut the Pokemon Drampa, the Placid Pokemon. It is from the Alolan region and is a normal and dragon type Pokemon. Looks pretty cool. I can't wait to get my hands on this one. Lunar New Year events are generally based around friendship bonuses and trading. This year, our bonuses include increased chance for lucky Pokemon from trades, also an increased chance to become lucky friends when interacting with friends, whether that be from gym battles, trading, or opening or sending gifts. We're also going to see more candy from great, nice, and excellent throws, as well as an increased chance for XL candies if you're able to get those being level 31 or higher, from those same nice great and excellent throws should be a good time to farm some candies let's find out what our spawns are according to the announcement wild spawns are going to include magikarp dratini shuckle fennekin Skrelp, noibat and if you're lucky jangmo'o of those pokemon magikarp dratini Skrelp, and jangmo'o all have uses in the pokemon go battle league make sure you're hitting your good throws good nice and excellent throws so you can get those extra candies because you're going to need them to power up to get your Gyarados, Dragonites, Dragalge, Hakmo'o, and even Komo'o. That's going to cover the wild spawns. Now let's check out what we can find in raids. One star raids are going to include Dratini, Dino, and Gumi. Three dragons, all three of them can be shiny. Your three star raids are going to have Drudagon, Turtonator, and Drampa. That's right. Just like the other two dragons in three star raids, Drampa is going to see its debut in Pokemon Go in the three-star raids, but it can also be shiny. I host raids on my Twitch channel seven days a week. The link's down in the description. Come join us if you need a raid group. Also, Mega Latios and Latias are going to be in raids as well. Good luck on your hunts. These ones are tough. Now, we can't have an event without event-themed research, and Dragon's Ascent doesn't disappoint you guys. There are a lot of cool Pokemon available, and those include Dratini, Trap Pinch, Swablu, Gibble, Darumaka, Drudagon, Dino, Skrelp, Tyrant, Gumi, Turtonator, and Drampa. That's right, Drampa is not only in raids. We will have a chance to get it in field research. We'll have to find out what those tasks are. If you find out what those tasks are, might as well leave me a comment down below. Let us know what it is. We can pin that, let everybody else know how they can get those Drampas. But good luck on those hunts. Good luck on your field research and finding the ones that you need. Paid research will also be available for the event. Two bucks is going to get you some Stardust, XP, two Lucky Eggs, and Encounters with event Pokemon. Remember, you can gift that research to your friends that you are at great friend or higher friendship level with. But remember that that research will expire at the end of the event, Sunday, February 11th at 8 p.m. So get it done before then if you pick it up. There's also a global challenge happening during this event, and that global challenge includes hitting 1 billion nice throws. Everybody's collective effort together, put down your auto catchers. We got to manually catch these. We'll get them unlocked. What we can unlock from that is evolutions for special moves, extra wild spawns, and two more raids, a one-star raid and a three-star raid. The special moves, they didn't tell us what those are going to be. They just told us the typings, two ground, a fairy, a dragon and a normal. My best guess is that those two ground moves are going to be Earth Power for Flygon and Earth Power for Garchomp. The fairy move might be Moonblast for Altaria. The dragon move could be Draco Meteor for Dragonite. And the normal move could be Boom Burst for Noivern. Those are all past community day moves. And it makes sense for Niantic to put that as the bonus. Let me know what you think down below. See if uh, you have any better guesses, but that's what I put together from mine, right? So get out there, all your nice throws. Let's get these event bonuses unlocked and have a fantastic event. Sounds like a great way to start the week. I love catching dragon Pokemon. I've been waiting for the release of Drampa in Pokemon Go ever since we got our first Alolans. Dragon Pokemon are some of my favorite, aside from ghosts. 
Gengar is the best, obviously. But thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Peace.